Jan, I, I brought you here today for a very specific reason. Yes. Um, other than I enjoy your company. Is this an intervention, Ben? Uh, it's an intervention of sorts. Um, interventions are where you grab somebody who's really interested in something and then give them more of it, right? Yeah, that's totally how interventions work. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what Webster's Dictionary defines uh, intervention as. Well, uh, I would also like to see the Webster's Dictionary definition of Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger EX! Oh, they may only have that in the Miriam one. <laughs> only Miriam knows? Yeah. Uh, this is the newest game in the Gunvolt Chronicles universe. Gunvolt is kind of the new Mega Man. Okay. Right? Yeah. You know? Like, Gunvolt was made by the... Well, the first Gunvolt, I think, wasn't, and then there was the crossover with sure. uh, Mighty Number no. 9 in Gunvolt. Oh, that's what I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they exist in similar universes. Uh, I knew this game was going to be for me when right out the gate, so let me back up. Here's the main menu. Okay. Um, there's no tutorial or anything. There is a manual. All right. Uh, and it's insane. It wants you to learn all of this before the game starts. Oh! Um, but we're not gonna do that here today. We're just gonna get right into the action. I've beaten this game. Oh, uh, wow. Already. You came very prepared to this quick <laughs> This look. is the most prepared I maybe have ever been for a quick look. Um, so let's just get right in. This is sort of a spin-off. This is not a mainline... Oh. We'll get to her. This is not a mainline... Uh, Gunvolt? Gunvolt game. This is sort of like a um, Zero or an X, if we were thinking of a similar sort of Mega Man parallels. Okay, all right. Um, I'm just gonna hop into a random level here. Uh, so this is tangentially related to the, I guess, main Gunvolt canon? Yeah, you're the same character, but it's in the future. So it is really like an X. Okay, yeah. Your Gunvolt, yeah, yeah. or not Gunvolt, your Copen, Copen in the future. Um, and I'm coping with this addiction, and that's why we're having this intervention. That's right. Uh, this game fucking whips ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right out the gate, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna skip right through this. So, kind of right out the gate, um, you gotta shoot. Okay. Uh, I have all the, so I'm hitting um, A right now to cycle through the thing in the top left there. Those are kind of your boss weapons. Sure. Uh, you've got different oh. stuff, like, you know. Uh, now just you, kind of... What the... This is my favorite, especially because you can just keep doing that. Uh, and then you've got a dash. Uh, there we go. Dash is really important. Dash is kind of um, the integral part. And dashes use up bullets, which you'll see there in the bottom left. You have a limited number of bullets. Okay. Uh, getting hit by an enemy will reduce your bullets before it reduces your health. Uh, bullets regenerate automatically, but you can also hit down twice to reload. Uh, Okay. Uh, you don't lose, so I just, uh, oh, okay. So let's just get into it. Uh, if you dash into an enemy, you will do a sort of lock-on effect on them. Okay. Um, uh, you don't lose a bullet if you dash into an enemy. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna play. You All ask right. me questions. Okay, yeah. All right, so, um, you said, okay, life bar, we got reloading, it looks like, Dual blades perform their firm wrist fate, ready to strike with conviction! Twin Shredder. What? Who is that? That's, uh, God. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we're one heck of a team. I didn't even hit that guy, because I think he was invincible. <laughs> so, is that God? Hold on, I gotta reload. Okay. Okay, alright, so, if I <laughs> am understanding this, Yeah. Um... You have several weapons that you can cycle through. Yep. Uh, you have a shield, uh, not necessarily a shield, but you kind of have um, invincibility thing going on with the bullets. Yeah, so the so you start out with three bullets. Uh, you start the game out with three bullets, but you can like upgrade them as you play. They're sort of, uh, as you collect money, see here, there's a little money here. Uh, you can use it on upgrades. I've upgraded my bullet count. Uh, I feel like that was the best thing. Um, so your bullets, aren't necessarily um, stuff you're shooting? No, bullets oh. have nothing to do with your gun. <laughs> okay, th this feature is very odd. <laughs> um, you also, okay, so basically bullets, right? Uh, so, let me reload. Uh, 
dashing consumes a bullet, getting hit consumes two bullets. Okay. Uh, if you're out of bullets and you get hit, that's when your life bar starts to drain. Sure. Okay, um, so what are, what are the little floating uh, doodads? That's, I think, just an aesthetic thing. Uh, the color of them is what weapon you're it's on. It's indicative of a weapon, okay. Um, you don't lose bullets for crashing into enemies, and so so since I crashed into this guy, you see how there's kind of an X around him? Yeah. Anywhere I shoot my gun, it'll just home in on him. Oh, that's cool. So you're kind of encouraged to like always be moving. Uh, you also don't lose a bullet if you bounce into a wall or the ground. Sure. So you can kind of just like keep... Oh, Chain well, there's a, there's your... a boss here, but... Yeah, you okay. can just kind of keep... When you're firing on all cylinders in this game, like this, right? So I'm just gonna like keep... Wow. Doing this shit and bouncing off the top of his head, and he can't even reach me uh, until I hit the ground, really. Okay, so it looks like your uh, boss weapon is tied to the meter underneath your life bar? Yes. That, I believe, regenerates over time. Okay, yeah, it looked like after you used it, it filled back up. Yeah, there's um, no, uh, like, uh, E-tank, not E-tanks, weapon tanks or anything like that, like, a, like in a Mega Man. Okay. And I see you have another meter on the top right of the screen. Was that when you went full anime? Uh, no, that's the, no, yeah, that's, yes, that's the one on the top right. So at any time you can hit X to do this, and it's kind of your equivalent of like a, like a shoot like a, bomb. Sure, like a smart bomb. Yeah. Um, you also get bonus points for killing enemies with that. Now points, okay. So okay. this game itself, I would say, is not too difficult. It's pretty short and it's relatively easy. I, I beat the, my timer says I'm three and a half hours in. Uh huh. Um, I would say that probably is not counting any time I died. Okay. So I, I'd probably spend, I'd say, closer to five hours beating sure. the main story. After you do that, you can unlock remixes of all the levels, which are harder. Um, so and then after that, I read that there's even more stuff to do once you beat all those remixes. So it seems like there is. Uh, it's short. It's on the shorter side, but it's not, um, not like a, you know, not like a finish it 100% in a day type deal. Right. Right. Okay. Um, where the difficult, so there are three difficulty options. Where they come in is really only that. What they change is really only score. So you see this modifier on the left, the 22. Yes. Basically, anytime you do damage to a guy, that number is going to start going up. Um, you see there, there's like a, well, okay, let me start another one. Uh, oh God, I gotta reload, Anytime. amount of bullets. Uh, so, let's start a combo. Oh God, I got hit and I lost my bullets. So, I'm at 21 now, 38. Uh, you see there's little pips under that? Yes. So I can get hit three times and then the combo will reset. Uh, wow. It's down to one right now. That's what the difficulty options change. The easiest one doesn't have that thing at all. You can just get hit and you keep the combo going. The hardest one, you can only get hit once. I'm playing on normal where you have three. Okay. Um, I am uh, slowly starting to understand this game. Yeah, and then it does another thing. Uh, I might have to switch to easy to do it because it only ever happened to me twice while playing. Uh, I played through the whole thing on normal. Okay. But if you get to a thousand combo, your companion starts to sing and you get access to even crazier abilities that I'm not even 100% sure what they do. Um, but then there's also all sorts of stuff where like doing an aerial kill will give you more points than doing a ground kill and finishing off an enemy with the super move will give you even more bonus points. Sure. Um, so I know a big component in the Mega Man Zero games was collecting the Cyber Elves and like getting new weapons and stuff. Uh, are you, do you pretty much just have the gun and the thing that changes are like those uh, boss form weapons? Yeah, uh, so let's hop into here. Oh boy. Um, so these are your boss weapons. You can assign them all to a direction. So you can just like at any time be like, yeah, okay, I want orbital edge here, I want this here, all that and that. Uh, and so at any time you can kind of switch on the fly, but you can also manually cycle through them. These are my upgrade trees that I've unlocked. These kind of come unlocked out the gate. And then you've got stuff like, uh, Halves your EX weapon gauge consumption. You should just forget about your X. Uh, I had my vanishment of X's, but that was another game. Uh, you can uh, get extra bullets here, and then you can do stuff that just make it harder, oh. like heaven or hell. Uh, sets HP to 100 and disables pervasion. I don't know what that is. Is pervasion when you don't get hit by uh Yeah. Okay. That's probably it. And then kudos is your combo meter. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good idea. Uh, uh, Name for a kudos or a combo meter. And then these are the skills that activate during overdrive, which is that thousand point 
uh, thing there. Sure. Okay. Um, you have a level. Level, I believe, just increases, increases HP and damage. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, so, similar to like Mega Man games, do you, are you picking a map and an order? Yeah, so I'll, I'll show all that off here. This is just kind of one of the random ones. It starts off, it's a, it's a lot like Mega, the structure of Mega Man 7. Okay. Uh, where, or I guess most of the numbered Mega Mans were like this where, but 7 especially, because it's like you have four levels unlocked out the gate, and then you have like a mini boss level, and then you have four more levels, and then you have like a few wildly equivalent um, levels. And I'll say, uh, also much like Mega Man 7 uh, specifically, the game is relatively easy, and then I died probably a hundred times on the wily stage, because uh, that boss is straight up bullshit. Okay. Well, speaking of bosses, we're here. I like the sprites in this a lot. <laughs> Looks like we have a, I don't know, a woman in an android? I love a good butler android. Oh yeah. Like look at his hand, like he's just got that on two fingertips right there. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple problems with the game. Okay. The story is nonsensical, very anime. I just ended up, I, I gave it a not a shot for a couple levels and then honestly just ended up skipping through most of the cutscenes. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's integral to the story, but sure. if you like anime bullshit, you might like it. I, I won't say it's just straight up bad, it's just not for me. Okay. Um, the other one is some of the character designs, which you saw a little taste of earlier. Um, which we'll get Whoa, into. That guy disappeared. Yeah, that was cool. Are you X also? <sighs> so I'll say I don't. I'm not the most familiar with the Gunvolt lore. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, wow, she just transformed into like a fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to let it rip, dude. <laughs> Uh, so, like, like a Mega Man, you know, you've got certain weapons that are more effective against bosses. It'll straight up tell you, like, hey, this weapon seems really good. Oh, I didn't mean to activate that. Two players were one of the first rate. Two in Shredder! You get to watch this every time you hit the X button. That seems like you may have to. This one? Should have to hit more to trigger that. This one? <laughs> nope. Don't you love Mega Man games? Is it this one? No, that's the same one. Is that just a scythe? It's a tarp, kind of. Is it this one? Oh, this one seems good. Uh, so this this weapon uh, will lock onto an enemy. Okay. Uh, oops. Oh, uh, uh, and so anytime you do an air dash, oh, wait, hold on, I have to refresh my bullets. Anytime you do an air dash, you'll just air dash straight at them. Cool. So yeah, look there. Your weapon is really working. Nice choice, boss. Sorry, I have to actually pay attention for this part. No, it's fine. I'll uh, continue to be uh, be overloaded. <laughs> My senses to be overloaded by this game. Uh, okay, so that seems super cool. Um, how it encourages. Oh, now she's going. Yeah, anyway. all the bosses. Have Graviton have pandemonium. Uh oh. I'm assuming you also. I apologize if you had uh, mentioned it, but is there a boss rush? type thing near the end. There is, and then there's also an additional boss rush mode that it seems like you can unlock. Um, oh, oh gosh. shit! <laughs> sorry oh, for yelling. I, sorry, Jason. Um, this looks super cool. Yeah, I really like this game. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise yeah. where I was just getting ready for my vacation and downloading some Switch games that I hadn't codes for lying around and got this and it was great. All right, great. Mission clear. clear. And are you being graded per mission? Yes, totally. Okay. Um, you got like bonus points based on what difficulty you're playing it on, based on how fast you do it. Um, and you get okay. this like sick DDR-esque kind of screen. Um, I do like the return of uh, DDR space channel aesthetics. Yeah. Oh, okay. and so here's yeah Here's what I was talking about before Lola is so amazing. I wonder what makes her tick. There's um just, Like your whole band of pals or kids 
um, you know, like a ragtag group of post-apocalyptic oh, okay. children. But then they kind of, you know, dress them down. <laughs> it's a, it's a bit much. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of your your hub screen. This is where you can unlock upgrades and stuff. But this is also where you're picking missions. Um, let's show off one more. I'll hop into one of these special missions that I haven't done yet. These are the remixed levels. Okay. Um, and let's put it, let's just knock it down to Gutless. So these are the three difficulty options. Gutless, gutless where you will not lose kudos. Okay. Cautious, where you get three, and then Fearless, where you get one. Sure. Um, there's Jukebox, so you can just like, fix the song plays for the first time. So it'll do it once, and then... I need to hear this song. Yeah, I need to hear original chord. You can also preview it. Yeah, okay. I'll hear this for the first time. Yeah, all right. Engage. Let's engage. Oh, seeing this just makes me want another Zero game. Yeah, I feel like uh, the developers of these kind of realized that Capcom isn't going to make the Mega Man games that they want anymore and were like, hey, let's just do it. Can someone do that with uh, the Battle Network series, please? Oh my god, yes. Oh wait, okay, I know what the Shroud Spear is good at. Uh, uh, uh. Shroud the Spear. Oh, cool. Yeah. So there are parts of levels um, that you could potentially revisit to pick things up. Totally. After you grab a certain one weapon. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, so you, you saw me grab that emblem there. Yes. Uh, there's four emblems in every level. They're pretty damn hard to find. I've only ever gotten three. Okay, here we go. So yeah, she's gonna, she's singing. Is she just a Vocaloid? You know what? Maybe. I really don't know what her deal is. They probably explained it in one of the cutscenes I skipped. Ah, uh, this is hard. I have to zigzag my way up. There we go. Whoa, you're glowing now. Yeah, it's because I have that thousand combo thing. Uh, I'm in overdrive. I don't know what my overdrive abilities are, per se. I feel like it... it there's so many systems in this game that it's hard to keep track of, even as somebody who's beaten it. <laughs> There's also this other thing, darkness trigger. Okay, click in the right stick. I'm gonna do that when I get to an area with more enemies. Fuck. Oh, shit, I gotta reload. Okay, so since you're in gutless mode, your kudos meter is not draining at all. Yeah, it'll drain on checkpoints. Okay. Uh, and that's about it. That's a neat twist to uh, kind of speed up these levels, I guess. Yeah. Okay, let's see what gutless mode. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's right. She gets evil. Oh, boy. Uh, but after after that, I kind of don't know. I don't have my, uh, I don't have, oh, it just said beyond probability up there. That's a whole thing. Um, I don't have my special weapons anymore, but it seems like they're kind of just automatically firing because it, it speared that guy. What? Oh, I wasn't keeping an eye on my health. That'll get you sometimes. Oh no, but it didn't do the thing I said it was about to just guarantee do. Okay. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna play this a little safer now. Okay. Uh, second of all, so there is a chance when you die mm -hmm. for, I forget what to call it, like maximum revive or something, where basically, um, depending on your social link level with everyone, which isn't like, they only say like, just make sure every between every mission you talk to your friends. So it's not like a whole persona thing, but it's okay. just like you hit the talk option on the men, on the option select or mission select menu. You're not completing quests. For no, no, people. no. Okay. It's literally just hitting a button and watching a cutscene. And but, sometimes uh, that's all you got to do with your friends, just talk to them. Yeah, sometimes the best thing you can do is be a good listener. Yeah. Um, what it, what it does, though, is gives you a chance upon death to kind of come back to life with, like, crazy high damage and everything, kind of like a berserk mode. Okay. Um, it happened to me, I would say, about 50% of the times I died in the, in the regular story and then, like, twice against bosses. So maybe they kind of weighed it a little differently against bosses. Okay. 
Yeah, maybe since you're in the easiest mode, it may not trigger to do it. Yeah. Um, also, I'm watching my health bar now. I'm reloading my bullets. This should be a lot better. Yeah, you're zooming through this level now. Okay, this is the fir first time I got a full set. Uh, I'm going for a big combo. Yeah, by the look of oh. it, I would have thought that you're dying, but you're... But I have not taken damage. That was the first damage I took. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just because I psyched you out. Um, and I keep reloading those bullets. Yeah, I feel like you could fall into um, a, a good rhythm. Totally. Yeah, you can game. also reload from the air just by doing a double tap and it does kind of a ground pound. Oops. Uh, certain attacks will pierce bullets, like that guy's electricity seemed to damage me directly. Okay. Uh, it does not make it clear, though, what does and does not. And so this game, it, you put, we're playing this on the Nintendo Switch, but this yep. is available on PS4, Xbox, and Steam. Steam as well. It's 15 bucks. It's already out. came out in September. Um, Ooh, look at that guy. Yeah, this guy's probably my favorite boss design. Uh, uh, I think the my favorite weapon, the Shroud Spear, is what's good against him. Oh. Nope, doesn't seem to be doing Whoa. much. Okay. He also just damaged me directly there. I can't say I completely understand what's going on. No, yeah. But hey, I'm playing I... and I can't either. <laughs> but I am a fan of what I've been seeing. Have you seen that, I, I don't know if it's Capcom, I'm assuming it's Capcom, but they've been um, selling an art book for, not the Battle Network series, but the, uh, the follow-up to the Battle Network series. I forget what that one was called. Uh, the, the Space Mega Man Battle Network. I don't know if I'm quite familiar with that. Let me... Star Force? Star Force, yes. I've never played that. Uh, yeah, those those games were neat. They they were very similar to the Battle Network series, but instead of a 2D grid, you're kind of doing a um, behind the back third person grid. Okay. Yeah, those were neat. Definitely different than the Sonic. Is this guy just Sonic? He kind of is, though. I hope this is oh, what. Oh God. I hope this is what the redesign of the movie will look like. They're like, we heard you. Oh my god, this guy won't chill. I'm, hopefully this will do some deeps. Does that move ever change? The twin shredder? It no. does not appear no. to, no. Oh yeah, we're one heck of a team. Yeah, get fucked. Mukuika. Take that, Sonic. Just explode Whoa. into a bunch of feathers. Is that a Pikachu tail? I don't. <gasps> Um, but yeah, so they've been, I think Capcom has been selling the art book, and I've seen it circulating around, so it makes me wonder if maybe they'll re-release some of those Battle Network Star Force games. Oh, yeah. Because there's the Zero collection that's coming out soon. Right. Good job, Ben. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would love, just give me more old Mega Man. Um, that's kind of it, you know, like I said, uh, you know, main campaigns like, what, four, eight, 12, 12 levels, and then I unlocked these when I beat that, and then it seems like there's even more to unlock. Okay. After that, uh, if you were really into it, it seems like with the score attack and everything, there is totally replayability there. But uh, yeah, I mean, for $15, and I, and I think Switch is probably the way to play it. Like I was playing just, on my actual portable switch with Joy Cons and everything, and it was felt just fine. All right. Um, yeah, this is Mighty Luminous Avengers. Avengers. Gun no, sorry, Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger IX. It's out now. Jan. Ben. Thanks for getting luminous with me. Thank you for uh, conducting this intervention.